Characteristics and Evolution of Today's Small Farm, Unit 2. During this discussion, we're going to talk about what has happened to cause the need for small farms and how it's kind of evolved until where, where we are today. And I just want to give a little background on myself. I grew up on a small diversified farm in Missouri and we had livestock and a large garden and, and two or three grain crops that we were growing and we were a pretty normal small farm in Missouri until the night until the 80s hit and the farm crisis of the 80s and we had low yields uh, low prices because of the embargo of our grain by the Soviet Union it was a very difficult time and we ended up selling our farm in 1985 along with a lot of my neighbors and so my love for farming comes from from the past and I've always had um, a large garden and the end garden has been important to me and with the um, increase of interest in local grown foods it's a great opportunity for you to get started on a small farm. In unit one we talked about the influence of corporate agriculture and I just wanted to hit on that again because part of the reason that small farm is becoming more popular is the fact that corporate agriculture controls such a large segment of our food the food industry and they own the animals, they own the crops and a lot of the farms go together for tax purposes and, it's, and what's important for the meat processing plants and the vegetable processing plant is every product is exactly the same so they're looking for a very uniform product so every pork chop looks the same every chicken wing looks the same and every head of cabbage looks the same and so taste has taken a back seat to convenience and consistency in the food industry. We've long been dependent on oil for food production and that only continues to go uh, grow. They talk about the average item on your plate at dinner time has traveled 1500 miles and, and that is very dependent on oil and when we eat salad in the winter that's being shipped in from Mexico or California to the Midwest. Commercial fertilizer is also an important user of oil as well. So we're using oil in the field, we're using oil for transportation, and we're using oil to make the fertilizer to grow our crops. And that uh, is going to be an important component if oil prices continue to rise and fuel prices continue to rise because they're going to have a major impact on the cost of food. The food safety and health concerns is another factor that's greatly uh, benefited small farms in, in my opinion. Uh, is you turn on the news and you pick the product and there's been a scare of cantaloupe or ground beef or spinach or E. coli or eggs and, and just constant information in the news as we've consolidated our food industry into less and less firms it's easy for them to spread that bacteria because it's they're processing so much product at the same time and so is our food safe and is our food healthy is two questions that I often wonder about when I when I look around at the at the general public I see a public that um, needs to lose some weight and I know part of that's lack of exercise and laying on the couch but I also think our food system is broke in my opinion. As I've been teaching at a community college for 10 years I just encourage my students that want to be a producer or a farmer and has no chance to be a traditional corn and soybean farmer if there's not a family farm. The cost, of, the cost to get started in farming is so much that it's just about impossible 
in, in central Illinois, 80 acres is selling for a million dollars. And there's no way you can make a living growing corn and soybeans on $80 after spending a million dollars on that land. And the equipment's expensive, the cost to put in your crops are expensive, and it's really a limiting factor to traditional farming and not so much so for the small farm. The demand for locally grown food continues to grow, and as the number of farmers market can continue to increase at a very rapid rate, um, why, why the demand? Why is the consumer so interested in buying local grown food? Part of it is the food safety, part of it is use, using less chemicals, and part of it is getting to know the farmer, and, and that campaign to know who your farmer is, and the taste. I think the taste is, is just amazing, and people that haven't had fresh produce don't understand that the taste is so much different. We're starting to gain some ground in the legislature in Illinois. They're passing uh, bills that encourage or mandate schools and hospitals and state-run agencies to incorporate more local food into their menu.